Alright, welcome back. This is Dawn of Man tutorial. Um, this will be episode 8. Welcome for... welcome to the game. Um, <laughs> sorry. It's been a few days since I've recorded an episode. Um, looks like we are just waiting for copper smelting. And we need to get our pig population up. We need to uh, expand our sheep population probably just by a little bit. Um, Looks like our workload is doing fine. So let's just really uh, flesh out the whole base here before we uh, move to the next age so we can fight against those nasty raiders. Let's just go ahead and bring that as far as we can. Yeah, that's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be a problem get rid of this stone right away. So, let's toss one of these down. We should probably get rid of this stone too, just because it's probably going to be in the way. Yeah, we're looking good on our resources here. It says we're low on food, but we're really not. So let's see, maybe we can just do some hunting just to make it so that alert goes away. That's kind of... kind of annoying. Let's get this move on. Looks like we already got that boar marked. Uh, we could kill some of these ibex. Sure, why not, right? There's all kinds of stuff going on, so... Where did our... here it is. We have five people set to that. Let's set that up a bit. Set that to 100, and then let's throw up a, a lumber storage right about there. We don't really need... Um, we don't need them coming all the way into the base with that stuff. We just need a place to put it. It'd be nice if we'd be able to get this stone circle built before, uh, before the, the Bronze Age. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, so how do we want to deal with getting through this area here? I think that's, that's going to be an interesting question for us. Let's kill these. We have a pretty high workload here. We have for quite some time. We haven't really gone below 100 for quite a while here. Two years. Oh, sweet mother. You guys remember the last time we took on a mammoth? Yeah, it was probably a bad idea. I say we go for it. We already got somebody who's sick. Not uh, not in full health. Yeah, but I mean, we're low on food, so you know. And here comes man, mighty hunter. Master of his environment. Our dogs are just on the other side of the ridge here. Yeah, here they are. 
This lunatic. You need to run, dude. Awesome. <laughs> Down goes the most majestic Ice Age beast. this a little bit. How do we want to do that? We can't really get up there too easily. Let's go like that. Looks good. That looks like a mess. <laughs> So we're just kind of uh, in a position where we're just trying to build up our stores and build our base up and that kind of thing. We're, we're uh, just kind of holding tight here, huh? So, got one of these coming in. Some mouflons. A lot of those animals are escaping. Well, we'll see if they're able to get to planting the fields this season. <laughs> I uh, may be overworking our people. I know that the getting the megaliths can really put a toll on um, on workload and all that. So that could be what's causing this, but we'll be fine once we, once we deal with that. That one. How far away is that one? Okay, so that one's not even started yet. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> We've got a ways to go. I did a... Uh, I saw the comment about um, Wells being too close. I was not aware that Wells could be too close. So I appreciate that comment. Thank you. Um, much appreciated. Always willing to learn. I should not build a bridge. <laughs> We're already too high on our, our workload. Yeah, maybe I just speed 8 here and just, uh... We can just enjoy watching the people work. Comfortably in our homes. While we don't have to work. There's something nice about that. I'm assuming that people are watching while they're <laughs> on their weekend or on vacation or, you know, not working because of this whole COVID-19 thing. <laughs> I 
I'd like to see our pig population go up a little bit more. We do have it set for 15. Let's see. God. Oh, we've only got three females. That's all we've got. Okay, well, we're going to need some males. I must have forgotten about that. Oops. Not that we'll... <laughs> have the workload available to even catch them, but that's okay. We'll at least try, you know. If not, maybe we'll get lucky and have a trader that comes by and can sell us a, a pig for pretty cheap. That'd be cool. Okay, none in our local area. Speak of the devil. Oh, you're selling goats. We don't want goats, though. You know what? I might just grab this fish. It's low. Let's grab the food. Not that we're really, like, in need of it, but, you know, it doesn't hurt. We can just get rid of some bones. We don't need all those bones. Yeah, so it'd be it'd be really cool to to hear from you guys, um, the people who are watching, um, if there is anything in particular that you'd like to see, or um, if you have any constructive criticism about how I'm playing, or how I could be playing better, or how I could be making my my YouTube content better. That would be that be appreciated. Being that this is pretty new for me. What are those? Ugh. No good. I don't like that. Which one is that? Okay. Some notes over there? Okay. I think I might have this cut in a little bit. You can shift click to deselect. I want this to kind of go this way. That would be kind of cool. Let's go oh, through there. We'd have to chop these trees down. Which means our stick collection is probably going to have to move. Yeah, I don't know that we need this area um, included in our town. It's just kind of a kind of a wasted space. Got one pending. And it's on the move. Oh, buddy. All right. Just building away. Yep, those little boars escaped. Go figure. That's okay. It would help us to achieve um, like sustainable food if we were able to. I think they just like have them sit on pending for a certain period of time, and then they tell them that they escaped, quote unquote, but they didn't really escape. They're just kind of you know in the same spot, but nobody did anything about it. Let's queue them back up. Alright, well we're starting to deal with our workload issues, although it is going to be fall here in a second. And once it's fall, um, we're going to have some, some stuff to harvest. And it looks like we did not actually get to planting everything, so that's that's too bad. But we'll be fine, we've got plenty of grain. We can always harvest these ones here too, the ones that are just kind of hanging out.
We're really just kind of focused on building up our our wooden walls and uh, collecting resources and getting prepared for the next stage. It's way over there. Why are they? Oh my god, wasn't it like here? Or here? Why did they take it that way? They have to go through the shallows, huh? I guess so. Yeah, and when you see this where, you're, where you don't have your fields planted or they're not fully planted, it generally just means that your workload is too high and that you need to scale back on some of your other tasks. Um, which we should. We should be doing that. But we're working on building this stone circle and that can just kind of just kind of take some of our resources. Alright, so it looks like we've got one young female and one young male for our pigs. I'm hoping that that will be enough. We may need to go and capture a couple more. But we'll see. Let's see. I mean, if they're here, we might as well snag them, right? I think we're good on sheep. I don't think we need to be worried about going out to capture baby Mouflon anymore. It's going to be like mining hotbed once we get to that part of the game. We send all kinds of people over there. Let's just take a little peek around for some more pigs. What are you? Oh, a horse. Okay, we don't really care about horses. Our weapons aren't really good enough to, to kill them quite yet. At least not with any consistency or, you know, quickly. So let's just sit up on our perch right here. Let's just, like, watch them go. Yeah, I knew these were going to be a problem. That's okay, that's, that's meat in our coffers, right? The dog is tanking, so... Not really taking any damage. This guy did though. He's almost dead. Shit. Oh, he's gonna die. This cave lion's gonna kill him. Cause it's a young one. Okay. <laughs> Close one. Some people have no warm clothing. Let's get our workload dealt with and then we'll have warm clothing. We'll take those, even though it's high commission. I am a little bit worried about our food stores for the coming winter. Just a little bit. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that'll be fine. Doesn't hurt to get some more food. We got a lot of sheep that need to be sheared. We have a lot of work that needs to be done. Like planting. Now once we actually get our like walls up, I'll show you guys how I build my base defenses. Cool. Um, I don't know if the way that I do it is, you know, typical or or even like the best way to do it. Um, but I find it to be pretty effective. Some people that are injured. There's some cave lions over here. We should try to keep an eye on them. Looks like they're hunting. It's 
So I know that a lot of people on the subreddit have been talking about when you're thinking about teching to the Copper Age or the Bronze Age, that you should save up tech points to to get like secondary technologies right away with it. I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a strategy, but I just, I don't know. I, I like to play the game and progress the way that the game wants to progress, not like try to game the game. Uh, just play the game, right? Here we go, we're only a megalith. Everybody help him. Old man Jenkins. Old woman Jenkins. And old man Jenkins. They're pulling it. They are planting a tree that they will not live to uh, feel the shade of. Maybe they will. They're getting there. Alright, here we go. That's going to make our workload problems, like, evaporate. Hopefully, it'll bump our prestige just enough that we'll be able to start getting some pretty serious immigration. Three. I really wish that this would come before that. That's okay. So we're 80, 80 capacity, and we're at 70. So let's get to like a, like a pop 100 before we advance. Um, that's really kind of what it's going to take to survive in the Copper Age. Cool. That's worth 60 prestige points. That is nice. Yeah, well we might be doing that tacking up thing without even trying to. I'm just... I'm not saving it for that. I'm, I'm saving it because, you know, look at our walls. <laughs> If we got a, a serious raider attack from the Copper Age, we'd be we'd be in some trouble. Yes, yeah, so these are just temporary. We can get rid of those at some point. Here looks good. Let's just start weaving our way through this area. That looks good. I don't I wanna leave space and room to be able to put defenses up on the walls. I don't wanna have to Worry about not having defended walls. Of course. That looks about right. Do you like to leave a little space? That's perfect, actually. Ooh, raider attack. <laughs> I was not paying attention. So, three? Not bad. Right. Well, let's sound the alarm. Dogs. It's not cool, man. What did uh, what Scooby Doo ever do to you, man? Do you not have bows? Copper Age raid, we would have we would have been hurting from that. But instead, we unnecessarily lost one of our townspeople. 
Let's take that. Let's take three of those pigs. Yeah, that sounds good. And what do we want to get rid of? Get rid of those slings. We don't need those. Get rid of some of those. Get rid of those. Well, they still have some value. Perfect. Get some more pigs. That'll really kickstart our pig population. And it looks like we were able to get all of our planting done this year. That is very nice. Let's take this. Go over here like this. good and then we'll kind of cut it back through here like that we'll just kind of make that connect up I don't really know what that's gonna look like but we'll make it happen Let's tear these down. Let's start. We're at 60, 69% workload. We are about to be in fall, which means workload's going to be a problem, probably. Let's get some wooden platforms. So I like to pretty much line most of my walls with these um, and then leave space for leave space for towers where they seem appropriate. I know I just like demoed those, but I'm a little tired. It's it's like Saturday afternoon. Right, we went out and did some some errands today. It'd be kind of exhausting. Good, but exhausting. We are low on food. Um, oh wait, did we already harvest that and we're at 46? Ooh, we might be in some trouble. We may be in some trouble. Let's do that. Let's get some meat. And let's hunt. We are in trouble. Must be like not paying attention or something. Did we get anything from that mammoth we killed? Like, honestly, it felt like we didn't get anything. starting to get a little bit 
It's not going to be enough to get us through the winter, though. I mean, it might be. It might be, like, just enough. I do anticipate a lot of attacks there. I like to put towers by my gates. That's just kind of a... For aesthetics, and... Because I like it. Stone circle looks nice, though. Yeah, once our work workload gets down a little bit, they will start slaughtering some of these sheep. And then we'll have some food, and then we'll let our let our sheep population rebound. We'll kick it back up to thirty. Speaking of that, it may be time for another round of these. Alright buddy, have some food for me. Okay. <laughs> At least we've got five female pigs there. Don't know what we're going to trade for them. Okay, easy enough. We're just going to trade a bunch of cloth. <laughs> Wool and cloth. Seems fine. more pigs than we had before, so I'll take it. And the more pigs we can get, the closer we'll be to sustainable food. We don't have enough space for animals. That is a problem. We don't really have enough food for animals either. We probably need to start planting. Oh, that. The field is clear. It doesn't hurt to toss another field in here, too. So we are starting to use our straw for more than just our animals. Mm, pigs? You wanna... Gonna go to. <laughs> okay. I just built this brand new stables for you. Okay, well, we survived the winter. Didn't lose any animals. That's good. Sheep caught diseases. Um, 
We should be okay. That shouldn't really be a big deal. Let's get these fields planted. Our two out here. Oh, lost five. Okay. Let's toss that back up. We should be okay. I don't think that'll kill our sheep population, but... Maybe. Maybe. Drinking at the river. Okay. Don't get salmonella. Cave bear. Probably should not attack it. We got wolves over here. All right. Let's just stick to our lane, right? Pair these two. Straw, rather. I know I covered it in another episode. But if you're looking to harvest more of a particular type of resource, um, so this one has a chance to produce extra grain, the emmer, and I believe it's the the barley, uh, chance, 50% chance to produce extra straw. So we got barley here, we got emmer here, we got barley, we got einkorn. And it looks like we did not get to plant all of our fields. That's okay. Planted more than we did last season. That's all that matters. that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I want to do. Throw you a stone. There you go. Enjoy. Please leave. to finish our walls. <laughs> I don't really understand. How are you sprouting here, sir? It's so hard to click on these things when they're like Oh, they're raspberries. Well, you're annoying. So, let's do that. Get rid of it. I don't want it in my base. Looks weird. Nice! We've gotten rid of a stone pile. That means we can extend. Oh, it's off by one. That's so sad.
cool. Get rid of those. over perfect with that and we probably should toss a gate somewhere in here especially because we've got these here so let's go gate here we've got these uh, burial mounds and stuff here it is officially harvest time. Let's go ahead and get to doing that. We have a lot of use for straw. Honestly, need another another barley field. If it goes diseased, then we're going to be in trouble. stockpile any straw right now, are we? We're using it to build stuff and fix things and... I know this episode's going on for quite a while here. Um, maybe time for a break. But I'm kind of enjoying it. So, maybe we just keep it going until we're able to... till we're wanting to advance to the Copper age. It's gonna leave some gaps in our defenses, but that's okay. We'll just patch them up with um, towers. That'll be okay. correctly. We are low on food. Pig population is doing well, though. I am happy about that. Let's grab that, and that, and that. It is a high commission. Not a fan of that, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? done building our defenses. So I think we just keep this episode going until our defenses are up and we're ready to click that button. Now, 
Why is our clothing production not keeping up? We are kind of low on knives. Not really, though. Oops. Getting a little sloppy here. That's not going to fit there. That's okay. Do not have really enough wood. So let's move this work area over here. If we're low on knives, is it because we're low on flint? Could be. Let's manually ask for a bunch. Why are you still making those? Turn those off. Let's just build a bunch of what we need. stick collection is out of commission because we chopped down all the trees. Shocker. Wow, we are at 80 population. How did that happen? Let's toss down another strip. we like run out of our flint mines or something? Is that what's going on here? Let's look at our structures. We've got one, two, we've only got two flint mines. Uh, one of them is here. I mean that's still got 25 flint so it's not like it's a flint problem. It's got to be a workload issue. Which I mean it's going to be what it's going to be right? I know I do tend to make my villages kind of big, but I like a big village. It gives me room to play around. I like how we've just got piles of stone sitting around. Once we need it, it's going to be really useful. Our sledges are starting to go bad. Okay. Let's build a few sledges. Sledge more usable. And our buddy, Mr. Trader. Let's snag what we are running low on. Don't really need sheep. Perfect. Okay, let's 
Let's see how much of our field got planted over here. Oh, better. That's much better. All of it. The whole thing. Yep, I, I saw that. Alright, well. We got barley, einkorn. Let's do emmer. And let's do another barley. Because we're, we're going to need a lot of straw. That 50% modifier is really nice. Alright, well, let's see. Let's see just how good our preparations have been. Quick, old man, run back into the town. They might destroy some towers. It's not ideal, but we did not lose any citizens. So that's probably good. That's that's probably pretty good. I'll take it. Things can be replaced. People can't. Okay, well, this would normally be a decent time to um, upgrade to the next age. I'm not confident that we'd be able to finish all we need to before the next raider attack though so I think we waited out for one more raider attack and get through uh get through doing what we gotta do here looks like we got sledges coming along there which we probably need more sticks for let's go find a good spot for sticks I just want a place that's going to have a ton of them. I don't want to have to be like searching around all over the place. That's not really a lot. I guess that's, that's a good amount. We can do that. town is really kind of coming together. It's really starting to look pretty good. I'm trying to decide if I still want to put fields and stuff over here. Maybe we put like our like our, our lentils and our, our legumes and stuff out on that side because we don't really need the hay being traipsed all the way from over there. Got 20 sickles. We need more sickles too. We're running on pretty high workload here. Increasing the amount of farming that we are doing is is damaging our workload percentage. But we really kind of need to do it. Um, in order to actually grow our town and uh, make sure things are running the way that they need to. We really need this straw. The only way you get straw is by you know, harvesting. And somehow we're over our population cap. I don't know how that works. I have literally never seen that. Making it happen. Got our nice little uh, housing district over here. Got our our uh, 
you know, agricultural livestock district. We have our production district. We have our religious stuff. We're doing pretty good. And we just built five huts in the matter of like half a season. Pretty good deal. These fields are going unharvested. You hate to see it. And that's all of these fields. That is painful. That is painful. And that's probably because I built those huts. Because they built the huts instead of harvesting the food. Even though I have the food on high priority. Please go harvest the food. So as you can see, uh, you're seeing how it's very easy to lose control of a town and to uh, to mismanage it. <laughs> that's exactly what's happening here. This is being mismanaged. Yeah. And we'll see if I can recover. We'll see. You have a bunch of pigs. That can be useful. Okay. What else can we stand to get rid of? Some of those. I kind of want to keep the stone because we're gonna we're gonna need it. Not really in as big a need for those as much anymore. Let's grab some logs. We are, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that we're short, but it doesn't hurt. Alright, well, let's cut this down and hope that our people start culling some of our animals for food. If we can get below like 80% workload, they should start doing that. Yeah, most of our people don't have warm clothing. Oh boy, I am really kind of kind of screwing this up right here, huh? Well, sometimes you live and learn. Sometimes you just got to Got to try to force your way through, or make it happen. I do like to see that our wall is mostly complete. Maybe we just set up a small stick gathering thing, just collect these here. I think part of the issue is that we've got too many animals for for our actual like ability to manage this. Yeah, we're running into trouble. Only one death to hypothermia in this winter would be ideal. <laughs> I think really where we got off track is uh, back when I did that big hunt on those mammoths and we really didn't need to do that. And we lost like four people that really set us back. And 
think we're still kind of feeling the effects of that because I haven't haven't really slowed down um, and allowed that to catch up you know, from the, from that mess. I think we just need to take a solid year and let the workload sort itself out without without uh, adding to it. We just kind of need to let the game run. Let it catch up to itself. Are there any tasks that we can get rid of that we don't need? really see anything that seems super extraneous. All of it's kind of necessary in its own way. Let's check our workload areas. Fishing and harvesting. We've got mud collection, sticks. We've only got one tannins. Get rid of this. Sometimes just getting rid of some of these can improve the way that the game runs. Yeah, we're really dangerously low on food here. It's a good thing we've got some of these coming in soon. We are getting overrun by our animal populations. They're over our limits, like quite a bit, and we're not able to catch up on workload fast enough to uh, to be able to slaughter them. And these small vegetable fields aren't going to last us that long. I think after this season we can probably get rid of this flax field. Yeah, so like part of the problem with having animal overpopulation is that all of these sheep need to be sheared, which acts adds to the, the workload. So if you're not able to um, lower your animal population when you're running into this issue, uh, like I'm kind of just spiraling out of control here because my animals require all this attention and I'm not able to give that to them. So they start breeding and causing more problems. Um, and it just kind of exacerbates the whole workload problem. So really, we need to just let the game chill and slaughter some animals and hope that that will... Yeah, we're low on harvesting tools now too, so we're not able to get to tool production because our animals are taking too much of our workload. Or uh, that we're not able to properly deal with the, the animal issue. We really need to start slaughtering some of these. There isn't really a good way to like force the workers to do it without heavy micromanaging. See, look at this. Two of them are harvesting sheep when really they should be killing them. We don't need to harvest more. I suppose I could turn this, um, turn that to zero. Say, hey, don't do that anymore. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll fix the issue. I don't know. I've never tried that. How much of our fields do we plant? All of it. Great. We didn't miss this. There is no there is no uh, thing there because there's a ridge. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we're not able to produce harvesting tools, which decreases our ability to harvest, which means that we don't have food to feed our animals. Kind of see how it, it starts to spiral a little bit. So now only 17 of our people even will have tools to be able to do the harvesting, and it's possible that some of those tools are going to be on people who aren't tasked to harvesting. It's kind of a, a positive feedback loop of problems. We are, we did kill a couple of sheep. Let's just see how much of this workload we're able to handle. We need to build up our food stores. That's, that's going to be an issue. Looks like we are able to get a little bit of harvesting done here. Getting some... And we probably should have turned this on lower priority. So we don't need that flax. We really don't. So... I guess let's turn it down now. that'll push them towards the food. We should nearly have enough. We're about halfway um, in terms of straw. Yeah, we're not. We're not harvesting hardly any of our stuff here. And we're not producing wool outfits. I mean, we've got a third half of what we really need. Cuz we can't we can't produce. We are starting to deal with the sheep problem. We've killed about 10. We're getting a little bit of food. Okay, so maybe we're maybe we're recovering a little bit here. May just be one more year of just watching. Letting the game run. It'd be really nice that like if if I had a thing that said that, you know, keep the population lower than this for sheep, that you would instead of feeding and watering and shearing, that you would, you know, just kill the ones that we don't need. That would cut the whole like chain of of uh, tasks. I think I think we get rid of these fields because we're not even we're not harvesting them. They're not doing anything for us. I do want to keep. Let's get rid of these ones. I want to keep one field. Um, I'm gonna move it though. I keep one field out here so that if we are able to get to it, that we do. Now we're at 36% workload, so now we're going to start dealing with our animal problem. Trader has arrived. Okay, Mr. Trader. Nothing I really want. Okay, thank you. Okay. be really good if we could start making some more of our wool outfits, because most of our people don't have clothing to wear. <laughs> so I think a lot of those Roskins are going to go to waste. We're just not... not using them.
Okay, so let's look. We never did put in platforms here. Let's look, look. Spot check it all. Looks good. Looks like our walls are basically done. Awesome. Good stuff. Okay. I don't want to go to the next stage until we have dealt with our workload issue and have one more raider attack. Because that will give us the maximum time to, uh, to deal with um, sorting out Copper Age stuff. We need to start producing more of our... Oh, I forgot to turn this. Get rid of these. Nope, don't do that. Get rid of it. Sorry. Don't need it. going to be a really long episode. I'm sorry. Probably should have broke it up into two. Did not anticipate these workload issues though. And once we were in it, I didn't want to didn't want to stop. We are getting closer to pop 100, though, which is good. What is our limit set to for these things? Let's just go ahead and make a ton. Probably need more tannin. Our other tannin collection. Ugh. Same spot. Okay. Um, then let's move it. Okay. Looks like putting the wool collection to zero really helped. Um, I think that's probably quite good for us. We're at a point where we can change it back. We're starting to build more tools. We need more sickles though. We definitely need more sickles. and this take that take the flint we'll make our own flint tools thank you <laughs> oh, we're at 94 population that's awesome of dehydration. Okay. Right, well, let's build some more sledges. We've got the resources. I 
going to help us with our, our little efficiency problems that we've been having. We're up to 52 bull outfits. We really need to be at like 110. So we need to double that. Do not have straw for our homes. Now, if we're able to completely. Wait, what's that noise? Oh. Oh, she almost died, didn't she? No, she was good. Okay. <laughs> if we're able to harvest all of our fields, then I will feel comfortable going to the next uh the next age after the next raider attack ooh ooh there's a treat in the way too Alright, so how high are we going to spike this year? I saw 76. 77. Sheep died of starvation. I thought they were supposed to eat... Like... From the ground during the fall and the summer. So let's keep that there and do this. Pigs don't require a secondary task. They just breed and make meat. That's what they're good for. So it looks like we are handling our fields. Tasks are getting queued. flour, people are making bread, eating. Will they make it all the way? I really doubt it. <gasps> They're tasked. They might. They might just make it. How are dogs dying of dehydration? Sanity. Could also be that our, like these fields are maybe just like, they might just be too far away. Here's raiders. Oh, it's all coming together, boys. We're facing the wrong way. Okay, raider attack completed. Cool, 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 cool. Um, and we need to open all gates now. We didn't quite get to this field. I think we are just about ready to click that button. Thank you for joining me. I know this was a long episode. Appreciate the patience. Um, I hope that 
uh, me showing you how to handle that workload problem with the sheep and all that was helpful. Um, if you have tips or advice on how to better handle it, or if you uh, um, if you've got other workload issues that you've experienced that you want me to try to discuss, just let me know. Um, all right. Well, thanks. Have a great rest of the day.